I see you back there. Okay. Uh huh. I got my new mic volume. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay, let me let me fix you. Uh, it was smart to. Uh, <laughs> okay, just play. Okay, feel free. Let her loose. Dun 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 Oh, it counts. No, it counts. I fall for that. Yes. No. Yes. No. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hoymecraft. The madman has done it. All four sides of the castle are done. There's still more to do. It goes higher than this, but. This main level, I got the back, the, this side, the back side, and this other side. All done. And I found a cool trick. I used scaffolding. I made these big, huge scaffolding things that, that just, I used those and I just go up and build, 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 build. But there's something we have to take care of and we have to take care of it right now. <laughs> so, a bunch of the hermits. I uh, swung by the other day. Oh, they're all in awe. They're all just oh, us. Can't, can't stop watching B-Dub's building. Just kidding. They all came over and they criticized. They all made fun of me. But they like it. I'm just kidding. This thing right here was really bothering Scar. The bone block was facing down like so. Like this. He didn't like that. I, I argued, you know, it's character. It's something nice. You know, it's something... Uh, maybe a for advanced builders. Scar didn't like it. That's fine. We'll put it like this. That'll make him happy. Uh, I've already started work on the interior. Yes, that's what I'm going to be working on a lot for the next uh, long while. But uh, here's kind of the entryway to the gatehouse and stuff. And then you get a size, uh, an idea of the scale of this thing. It's going to be big. This level right here, where that big window is, this level will be the throne room. That'll be up here. Down here will be an entrance to some other things. Dungeon and stuff like that. And then up on the very top will be uh, bedrooms for royalty and stuff like that. The, the king and other wise people. But I mentioned last episode what a silly, stupid thing I did by doing the deep slate in this direction. You know, there's this direction. And then there's this direction. It's two different textures. See? And I like this one the best. So I'm doing the whole thing out of that. I found a secret trick. So in creative mode, you can hit the left and right uh, mouse button at the exact same time. And it'll replace, like you could, left, right. And then it'll, it'll place that block facing the direction you are facing. But if you have a good enough shovel, check this out. Now normally, if I place this block like this, it's going to go like that. But watch this. Same time, I hit shovel, I'm digging, and placing at the exact same time. Oops, sometimes I mess that up. But, dig place, dig place, dig place. Otherwise, if I go like this, it's like that. I don't have anything to place up against. So this is saying, aha, we're placing up against that block, and it keeps the direction. I wonder if I can do it with a pick. No, it's not fast enough. But with dirt, it's fast enough. Uh, so, that's kind of a little trick I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. It's working. It's helping. It's helping with everything. B-Dubs usually does very small interiors, and I'm going to try to break that up a little bit today. Bigger castle, bigger feel, make everything feel taller, wider, more more exciting. Maybe bigger, make you feel smaller, make the place feel big. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm going for here. Uh, we'll see. The interiors, I think, are best shown off after, and then explain some of the nuance it, during that process, but I'm just gonna get grinding grinding on this interior and see how far we come Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, my mimi <clears throat> All right, my minions get ready The castle is done inside outside the whole thing as I mentioned previously 
interiors hard to do time lapse of. Okay, so don't. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to show you everything. Shall we go? I wager if a single mob spawns in this castle ever, I will gift 500 peeper memberships to you guys. What's a peeper membership? I'm glad you asked. No, I've been live streaming all my off-camera building. Lots of spoilers and stuff like that. Already, I've been testing it out a little bit. Already got almost 10 hours up of uh, streaming. So, if you want to get in on that, well, I mean, you know, you might be able to get in on it free if uh, uh, something ever spawns. But nothing ever will. I made the whole thing spawn-proof, top to bottom. So, here we are. This was like this. Oh, by the way, I figured out a new a new uh, trick. Watch. Remember my remember my deep slate trick? Watch this. Bang. Scaffolding. Scaffolding works just as well, if not better, because you don't need a tool for it. Fantastic job. I will also put a caveat. Hearing mobs does not mean mob in castle. Okay. Because there's mobs under us right now. <clears throat> that doesn't count. All right. Uh, anyway... Check it out. I need video evidence. If somebody ever sees a creeper or a bad thing in the castle, I'll do it. This, this is done. The interior's done. This is the way to... This is like the king's direction. The king will go here. He goes through royal door. There's a secret spot here. This, this is a little unfinished. Like I said, something's unfinished. Because I want Ren to be able to make some things here. This is going to be a pit. Up there is the throne room. That's where... Um, Squabs will stand and address the king. Notice. Notice. You'll notice. You see. Okay. Uh, this other way. There's some stuff this other way as well. We've got uh, a cart with the king's... Uh, some of the king's royal hall in it as well. These towers go up as well. Uh, we'll go up those in a second. But there's a way this way. And this goes down to a dungeon that's not complete. Leaving for Ren. As I said, but we'll go up this tower. The, the tower on the other side is exactly the same as this one. Shall we, shall we spin? And we have arrived. The first floor. The throne room floor. Yes. Again, some of the uh, king's plunder out on display. A little waiting room where you can wait to see the king if you're in line, you know, to address. And then boom. I want a better throne than this, but the squabs won't make, won't turn in netherite. I'll have to check on that soon. I need a netherite for this throne. Netherite blocks. That's right. Here will be his seat. And here's the throne room. Let's talk about some cool, interesting things. These pillars I love. These are red, as you can see. But I've got a little bit of a mix of red terracotta to kind of be a dull red. Red wool to be a vibrant red. And then red concrete to be a darkish bi vibrant. And then, uh, looks like vines. Okay, you hear a spider? That doesn't count. We'll never see it. Under the floor somewhere. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> uh, it's like, um, you see these columns. They're red and they got, like, leaves all over them. They're, they, they, they're in real life somewhere. You've seen it. Uh, but here is the royal throne room. We've got some beautiful terracotta design up on the walls as well, just to keep it interesting. And I've been doing this a little bit with the candles. You know, some, some candles are bigger, and they put a big wax globule that falls off the ledge and drips down. So that's what I'm trying to symbolize there. More with shapes than with actual blocks, you know. Birch trap door, not necessarily wax. <laughs> but it kind of it kind of gives that feel when you're walking up. And that's all I want. Lots of open air. Nice breeze that get, goes through here. Nice mountain breeze. I think we'll go up one more floor. We've got these uh, nice big copper doors here as well. Let's go up one more floor. And I think this is where most squabs will enter. Uh, let's see. Uh, where am I? I'm in the top of the tower now. Yes. This would be your elytra entrance. The eyes of the monkey. And those of you that pointed out that the front of the castle looks like a monkey face. There's the, the teeth and the eyes and the ears. <clears throat> Thanks for ruining it. You ruined the castle. It's ruined now. Good job. <laughs> it's not a castle. It's a monkey uh, statue now. More plunder out, out and about as you get up in here. And here's a little balcony where you can sit and watch the king address the people. Uh, and then, yeah, can't go up any higher here. Now, uh, to get to the other places. Oh, this, this walkway here 
leads this goes down to that uh entry hallway that we were in this one just goes up to a little bit of a lookout post you know if ren ever wants to look over his kingdom and do some thinking this is a great place for that back in the throne room if we go to this side and go up this tower this takes us up to the royal bedrooms so i made room for Ren to have a bedroom, of course. He needs to have a nice room for himself. And then uh, for two other people, bedrooms. If he has more than that, then people will have to share. Here is a um, uh, a bedroom for a royal highness of some sort, not the king. But you have a nice, beautiful balcony here. And closet. Not much space. And then a uh, stairway. A very steep stairway. We'll go up one of those in a second. But then there's another one of those. Very similar. Right over here. Just a little bit bigger. This is my room. Nice and large. <laughs> I will live in here most likely. And then another stairway there. So I think these, these rooms turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with them. Uh, and then this one goes to a tower. This one goes to a tower that takes us up to the surface. But there's multiple ways up to the surface. Here's the king's room, the king's bedroom right here. And I'll tour all, run through all of this stuff for his video. But here's a nice little study area up here. Again, just torches down and, you know, here can be his bed. He can order a bed from the mattress store and uh, decorate it himself. But let's go up the king's stairs. Steep ones, because we didn't have much room. Real steep stairs. And now we're up on the roof. And this is the stuff you haven't seen. Oh, did you see this when I was at a distance? So these are two towers that were not here before. And I added these on top. And they look fantastic. Ah, shriek. So I didn't do a ton of decorating around the castle. I want that to be, you know, content for the king that he can do. But up here, to make this area spawn-proof, I had to. I, instead of just spamming torches around, I had to kind of do some strategic stuff and decorate. So here is a melee area where you can practice your melee moves and uh, on certain people whenever uh, you feel the need with some weapons out. Working on like, I mean, this is a light source, you know, but you can imagine it's whatever you want. Little area to address the people. And then over here, a nice little arching spot archery spot where you can practice your shot. Will I hit the perfect bullseye? Yes, I did! That's about as dead center as you can get. It's a little off to the side, but we did it. Wonderful. So yeah, the whole thing spawns safe. Any little spots that might be bad, I just put carpets down and we're gonna be fine. Safe and fine. In this rather large circle tower, we have a little library, brewery, magic wizard, wizard room right here. Not fully decorated. But if we go upstairs, around this spiral staircase that was very difficult to maneuver and make, but we made it happen. We have a, a nice room, a nice little meeting room, terracotta roof, uh, terracotta tiles on the ceiling. And then you put a nice table in here where you meet with all of your, uh, all your people. And then finally, this tower here. This tower has a beacon beam above it. In here are a bunch of glass blocks. So this beacon beam is the symbol for the community, for something. This will be Ren's decision, but it could be like a mood ring. So if he's in a bad mood, red. And you're flying around, you're fr flying around the shopping district, and then you see the red beam and you think, uh-oh, King's upset. King's in a bad mood. Or it could be economy related. I don't know, we'll see. Whatever the King decides. But I think that'll be cool. That'll be a fun little thing. And that's the tippity top. You're going to see buttons all over the place. Actually, it looks like shingles from a distance. So it works. It does the trick and spawn safe. There may be some areas that I'm missing that I haven't shown fully. I think I've, that's all of it, though. You know, there's little areas like this where you can look out and see and stuff like that. And, I, and you can... Um... Okay, you can't jump out those windows. That's fine. That's fine. Don't tell anybody. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, that's the castle finished. It's done. And the fact that the whole inside's done and stuff as well, I mean, it's it feels nice to know that the interior, it's got a, you know, top to bottom, it's, it's a completed thing. I'm very happy. But we have to go now to the Ren's Quest thing to check on some things. But before we do that, 
Let's take a quick commercial break. What are the best claw sharpeners? And search. Hi, Spike. What you doing? I'm just browsing the World Wide Web looking for claw sharpeners. Well, I sure hope you're using ExpressVPN. What's that? Have you ever searched for something and then saw a bunch of ads for it later? Yes. That's because your internet service provider is legally allowed to sell your information over to third parties. And those third parties can target you with ads. What? Yes. That's why every time I turn on my computer, I turn on ExpressVPN. That way, my browsing data gets rerouted through a secure encrypted server. Just like how this truck goes through this tunnel and vanishes on the other side. Well, I'm sold. Where can I check it out? Right here, you silly goof. Just click on the link in the description or go to expressvpn.com slash bdubs and you'll be able to get three months of ExpressVPN for free. I feel so safe now thanks to ExpressVPN. All right, we might take on a quest today. It looks like a lot of the hermits are doing a lot of the quests. I'm seeing a lot of quest action happening. Let's see. Oh, yes. Look at, look at all the action. These are all the dailies. People doing their daily quests, Cub doing one, lots of hermits getting active, a royal quest as well. Uh, these are updating, Ren's updating these a lot, but I'm coming down here for one thing specifically. We'll just bust through here. Oop, no, okay. Um, we'll just bust through, what? Aha, there it is, perfect. Okay, we gotta check. Has anybody given any netherite to the king? What's with all this milk? What is this, a prank? Is this a prank on the king? You think that's funny? I don't see any... I don't see any netherite blocks in here. All right, we may need to incentivize the hermits and give them reason, better reason to collect because netherite blocks a lot. Where is it? Throw one block of netherite into the pit. Ten diamond blocks. Nobody's taken it. Throw one block of netherite into the pit. I need 16 for his throne. Oh, this is done, by the way. We finished. We finished this. I can take my head back. Okay, wonderful. All right, don't tell the king this. This is our little secret. But I found something when I was grabbing his old throne. Right up in this... Oh, he took it. <gasps> he took it. The royal wallet. Remember last episode, he accessed a chest up here, and I looked in it, there was nothing. I came back later, filled with diamonds. Aha. I think I found it. I can't- nope, that's not it. Well, alright, I was going to up the price. I was gonna up the price, throw one netherite block into the pit. Very good, I'm gonna put, um, a head in there. Very good. But we're gonna try to kill two birds with one stone here. Let's see, where's this other one? Punch a hermit on camera. There we go. We'll take that one, and we will put our clock in there. Perfect. Ow. Yes, sorry. That was sorry. that a quest? Do you make money from that? Yes, I just made eight diamonds. <laughs> impressive, impressive. Yes, Bravo, yes. sir. Yes. Well done. That, well the, done. Uh, punch a hermit quest. I came for one other thing. Yeah, what's and, up? And I know I've come to the right place. Well. I just wanted to let you know that there is a really nice quest that the king has right now. Ooh. And it is this one here. Oh my goodness. Yes. One it, block of netherite into the pit. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Now, why I am here, I brought the money with me and I thought I could save you the effort and I could just throw it in for you. You could just give Ooh. it to me. Yes, 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 yes. You give it to me, and then I'll I'll uh, give you the diamonds. Ten blocks here. That's 90 hmm. diamonds. And then uh, I'll just go throw it in for you. The king commands. A whole commands. netherite block, though. My goodness. That's, a yes. That's expensive. That's expensive. It's very expensive. It's going to be an expensive throne. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I would have to, I would have to like, go and mine some to get this. I, I mean, I you don't, don't, don't have, have it? A, I don't have it. I don't have it. Cub, you mean to tell me you had a diamond tower a diamond block tower as high as the clouds and you don't have mm -hmm. a single block of netherite no I, all i got is ancient debris i got like two ancient debris that's it 
Yeah, dude, I, I gave tribute to the king for my all minerals record, and I put a netherite ingot in that. So that, that that's where my that's where my debris went. You just got one ingot. I just got one ingot, that's and it. you gave it away. I gave it away. Unbelievable! This <laughs> people got to get to work on this server, man. I know, I know. Goodness. I'll tell you what, though. Yes. I'll tell you what, though. Watch. If, if you want, you want to uh, fly down here. Fly down here. Okay. Come, okay, come, okay, come, okay, come okay. down this way. Come down right. this way. Look! Look in these chests. Look in these chests. Gunpowder. Oh, gunpowder. That's a bunch of that's a bunch of firepower right there, just waiting to go get some netherite. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Are you flipping the tables on me? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me go get it. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, if I give you the TNT, I mean, then I have to go get it. All right. Yeah, that that would be the, that would be the case. Yeah, that would be the case. Well, then what happens to these ten diamond blocks? Do do you take those? I would take half. I would take half. Half. I'm gonna take five stacks. I'm gonna do a ta stack of TNT. Okay. Do you think I could get? How much is that? 36 debris? 36, yeah. Uh, For a block? Yeah, I, think that, I think that's right. Okay. For a block. Yeah, that would be... That would be a lot. I got the gold. I got the... I'm good for the gold. Like, we're good to yeah, go on that. everybody's got gold, Cub. <laughs> Goodness. True, true. Okay. The crown thanks you for this, uh, this tribute. It's not the... It's not worth the 10, 10 blocks. I'll give you... If sure. I get if I get the netherite block, I'll say it's in your name, and uh, I'll give you half. I'll give you half of the diamond blocks, five of them. Okay. Yes. All right, we have a deal. We have yes. a deal. Shake on it. Shake on it. Shake on it. Yes. Did you just right. make eight diamonds? I did not, but <laughs> you maybe, did maybe not. soon. Maybe soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Cub. All right. So why did B-Dubs do that? You may ask. How do you get out of here? Ah, here's a place. I froze for a second there when I was in the call with, with Cub because <laughs> I'm working on a little system right now. Ren just put out a video yesterday of this. Yes, I couldn't show it earlier. You might have got a little sneak peek, but now I know that it's going to be out there. You've seen this or you can see this. This is the Arch of Champs. For the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm going to. Yes, perfect. Wonderful. And I got my own player head. Wonderful. I'm I need this player head again. Ren's making us behead ourselves quite often. I may have had this wrong. Ren might be doing the diamonds. His video's not out yet for me, so I haven't seen it yet. But he might be putting the diamonds on. Welcome to the Arch of Champions. Add your completed server quest crystal to your pedestal to become the server's ultimate quest champion. Claim the pedestal by placing your heads on top of the diamond block and on the barrel. And <clears throat> He's making me do this over and over again. Get your head. Get your head. Put your player head here. Put your head, player head there. Gotta keep re reloading. All right. On the barrel and on the diamond block. There. Fine. All right. That's two player heads now. Add your crystals to the barrel. Yes. The king will then raise your pillar. He'll raise it. Okay. Earn five points by uh, raise your to the diamond block. Pillar blah, blah, blah. Crystal value. Oh, aha. Aha. So we have five points. If you add new crystals to the barrel, please place your head on the barrel. Okay, we don't have to... Do we? Does that mean I need to give another head to the barrel? No, no, we're fine. We're fine. We did it right. Okay, so I've got those in there. I think that's the alert where it says, hey, come and get... I Come and give me my points. And then here they are. So we have one diamond block worth. Well, I mean, I built the entire castle, my whole self, so... It's probably going to be more than a diamond block, if you know what I mean. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a lovely day. We've done a lot over the past couple days, and oh man, we've got more coming. B-Dub's got... Yeah, I've been working on my bag of base, off Camry, and uh, it's coming along. I'm excited. I gotta put some of this quest stuff back, because I completed it. But, what happened? What? Why sign's not... Sh where sign... Sign's not... Signs go away. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'll put this stuff back. I'll put this stuff back. I gotta go get that, that thing. No, you know what? It's mine. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the netherite block. We need 16 more. Goodness sakes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I love you to death. And we'll see you all in the next episode.